It's been a while since updating my workspace. After going through a pandemic, closing our office doors and working from home, my office space has gone through it. And so have I. From creating a live stream setup and streaming full time to putting green screen in my room to create VR content to getting pregnant and having a baby and completely neglecting the space. When I was ready to come back to work after having my baby, I came into the space and it just had this energy about it. You know, some things just no longer serve me. So it was really time for a deep clean and a declutter. I didn't want to completely make over the whole entire space because there's some things that I still like about it and my equipment is still really good. I just wanted to do a tiny little bit of revamping here and there. So instead of overwhelming myself, like I normally do and doing a whole entire room makeover I decided to take it slow and find some small items that brought me joy that I can slowly add to the room the first thing that absolutely had to go was my green screen curtain this hasn't been used for over a year and I figured if I want to do green screen again I could just bring it out when I want to use it it's a bit of an eyesore and every time I would film it here and it was in the background it was just not appealing at all so we're gonna store it away and in its place i decided to get a nice lavender curtain these curtains are actually the same curtains that we got for my baby leo's nursery and i love them so much they have little star cutouts and they have a mesh fabric on top and i just thought they would look super cool if i put like twinkle lights behind them and light could come through where the stars are also, I feel like adding curtains to this space is really going to make it look a little bit nicer just because I'm surrounded by fabric walls and I can't really put anything on the walls. So adding this long draping fabric from the ceiling to the floor just makes it look a little bit more put together. And the cool thing is I could actually use this as a backdrop. I didn't even think of that when doing it. And we can move it too since it's on like a curtain rod. I can put it in the background of me if I wanted to. I really love these curtains. I'll put a link in the description for everything that I talk about in this video and none of it is sponsored. It's just stuff that I liked personally that I wanted to add to my room. Next, I wanted to tackle this hideous looking storage that I have on the side of my desk. I haven't really opened it much and the items that are in there are kind of collecting dust. I had all of my gaming systems in there, cables, Xbox controllers, PlayStation controllers, Switch controllers, and more controllers. I had multiple VR headsets and controllers that I definitely wasn't using as much anymore and I honestly don't even know if I'm going to be using them in the near future. I for sure do not need three of them. So I decided to not store them in here because I don't really use them on a daily and I just really wanted to keep the space with the essentials that I use just to keep it nice and light and airy. So in place of the storage, I thought it would be really cool to have a light feature there to kind of lighten up that corner in that space. And I found the Govi lamp. smart lamp that also serves as a decorative centerpiece and I thought it looked super cool. I don't have any lighting like this in my room so I wanted to incorporate this into my space. The assembly was really simple. It's lightweight and it comes with a remote or you can also download the app and control it on your phone. There's a DIY mode, a music mode and different animations to play with. I was planning on having smaller storage in the corner but I ended up liking the light there on its own. I especially love how the light reflects off of the floor and I just decided to keep this space nice and clean just to kind of feature the lamp. Next I knew that my desk needed some upgrading. It wasn't really sparking joy. So I have a two PC setup and I would stream on one PC and record on the other and since having Leo I honestly don't see myself streaming full time like I was during the pandemic or pre-baby but I still really love having the multiple monitors and the option to stream on one PC and record on the other. So I decided that I still want to keep two PCs 
but we are going to mix it up a little bit. I knew the first thing that had to go was my black mouse pad. Since my desk is white, having a black mouse pad is kind of jarring. So I decided to keep it light and airy and buy a white mouse pad that has RGB around it. There wasn't too many options for white and I feel a little bit risky buying white just because it can get dirty very easily. But I found this one by Tilted off of Amazon. Super simple, gets the job done. Since I am getting rid of my black mouse pad, I knew that I needed to update my black keyboard. Now I knew I was up for a challenge here because I wanted something that was colorful, wireless, and multi-device compatible. I ended up deciding on the Logitech Pop Keys keyboard. The style is something that I've never used before, but it hit all of my marks. The color is the perfect lavender hue. It's wireless and it has three keys that allow you to switch between three different devices. A huge bonus is that it's climate pledge friendly and it's certified carbon neutral made with recycled plastics. I also kind of dig how the keys are round. It reminds me a little bit of a old school typewriter, which is actually how I learned how to type makes me feel like a dinosaur. This keyboard also has a feature of something that I thought I would never need, and that is emoji keys. Now, at first I thought this was something super juvenile, but the more that I thought about it, the more that I realized that I could get down with that. I think it's super fun and playful, and I will most likely be using these emojis and customizing my keyboard with different emojis. Let's just be honest here. I love a good emoji on a tweet. Now, since I got the multi-device keyboard, I had to get a multi-device mouse. And what do you know? Logitech makes a pop mouse. It has the same beautiful lavender color. It's Bluetooth, which means fewer wires on my desk. And it's just a press of a button to switch beneath three different devices. The only issue that I ran into here was that I didn't realize my towers didn't have Bluetooth, so I ended up having to buy an adapter for both of them, but that's no big deal, easy fix. I would much prefer having a wireless mouse to keep it looking nice and clean. So next it was a matter of just styling my desk and the things that I wanted on it. I always have something to drink when I'm working, so I had to have a coaster. I found this super cute silicone rainbow coaster on Amazon. It came with two of them and I just loved the texture that it would bring to the desk. I also found this little stand for my phone or iPad. It just makes it look a lot cleaner to not have my phone just laying on my desk and I can just glance at the time if I need to. Now, even though I don't play it on a daily, I still wanted to display my Switch because it brings me so much joy just seeing it, remembering all of the good times that I had during the pandemic and just customizing the room with some of my art. I do have prints available on my store as cupquake.com if you wanna purchase any of these. And this is what my work desk looks like so far. I believe that it is super important to have a workspace that just brings you happiness, feels clean and decluttered, something that you can be productive and inspired in and definitely something that needs to be updated and changed as we grow and our interests change. So I hope you all enjoyed this type of video. Let me know some of your favorite office supplies in the comments below. And also don't forget to follow me on all my socials so you can stay updated on what I am doing next. I hope this has inspired you to update your space and thank you for watching.